Launching a product sometimes doesn't turn out quite like you think it will. A lot of times you'll spend so much time and effort and money building the product that you think when I launch this, people are just going to buy it. It's so good. And I put so much effort into this that people can't help but buy this. They're going to refer their friends and I'm going to get this windfall of cash that just makes my life amazing. That's kind of the, the myth that we tell ourselves when we go to launch a product. But I can tell you the best product does not sell if you don't have an audience to sell it to. So here's a a personal story that was a time I tried to launch a product, which was actually Trainual. So going back into the history of Trainual, my current business, which today is a really successful business with hundreds of thousands of customers using the product in 183 countries or whatever it is, all started with my consulting business and a little newsletter that I had that was teaching people about scaling and systematizing their small business. And so over the course of a few months, I had put time and effort and money into designing this product at a contract developer. And I thought that the product was irresistible. It was so good that people, of course, would want it. And so I took this product, this early, early version of Trainual back in 2014, January 2015. And I thought, I'm going to launch this to my list. At the time, I had a newsletter with a couple thousand subscribers on the newsletter. And I also had an audience of businesses that I had worked with, a few dozen different customers that I had had, and a larger list of prospects that I had. And so I thought, okay, I'm selling thousand, ten thousand dollar consulting kind of packages. How easy is it going to be to sell forty nine dollar a month software? And I thought this will be the easiest thing ever. I'm going to have hundreds and hundreds of sales. So I did the math. I made my spreadsheets and I thought this will be wildly successful. I wrote out this email campaign, you know, like we're going to do a four day launch sequence. I'm going to send an email to the list on one day, kind of teasing it and then an email with a video on day two talking about all the benefits of it and a special thing on day three with testimonials and how valuable the ROI was. And then day four, I'm going to put together this irresistible package that people couldn't help but buy. So I went through and I built the sequence. I wrote the emails. I shot the videos. I put all this time into the product. And then I sent it out to the list. Four days in, five days in, six days in. A week later, I had three sales. Three people had taken the plunge to buy my little software product. And so at the end of this week, I'm thinking, all right, what did I do wrong? I must have miswritten the script or maybe my pricing on my offer wasn't perfect or maybe the product wasn't exactly positioned in the right way. But the reality was I just didn't have a big enough audience to appeal to and I hadn't put enough time into testing the product with a real audience. So when you've got a product that works, what you need is a little bit of traction. You need real world examples and then you need to build a really big audience before you do some kind of product because what you need for an offer, for a launch offer, is demand. And I hadn't spent any time creating demand. So fast forward a few years, I decided I'm not going to do this software thing. Trainual really just sat on the shelf. 2015 goes by, 2016 goes by, 2017 goes by, and I'm just building my consulting business. That's what I was focused on. But towards the end of 2017, I started to get that itch again and think, okay, I've got this thing and I've slowly added more and more of my clients onto this product and I've slowly gotten that traction and experience and I've slowly built a bigger audience. So I started trying to build a cold audience in the fall of 2017 and I put up a landing page for Trainual version two is what I was calling it. I took down the ability to even sign up for this thing and I had a little countdown for a month or two months out when I was going to launch this new product. So instead of this random four day launch sequence, now I'm thinking about it in terms of months, which was a much better window of time. And I started running ads of cold traffic that said, do you want to outline the structure of your business? Or do you want to write some SOPs? Here's a new software that's going to do just that. People would go to the landing page and all they could do was sign up with their email for when it would eventually launch. So again, I was a little bit building demand. I was building up a cold email list. I ended up with 179 cold emails. I could tell you to this day, I remember that list. And then I got ready for this big launch. So now we put some fanfare around the launch. We had a little party, invited a bunch of people from town, the couple dozen customers that I had that had actually used the product. And I thought I'm going to create this big launch event. And again, I'm going to have a launch offer.
offer. And the launch offer this time was a special price for a six month subscription to train you all. So a semi annual subscription that I thought was an irresistible offer. It was something that people could lock in. And again, I'm thinking windfall, hundreds of sales. This is going to be incredible. And even after building that list, putting two months into this, starting to stoke the fire and get some demand, having a launch party with photographers and all this stuff, we sold about 26 copies of the license. So again, better than three, better than my first try, but still not the windfall that I was hoping for. And it's this is a lesson I've learned over time that really you've got to put a lot more work into creating demand and making it be something that people actually want to buy, that people give input into it being created. And then eventually when it's finally available, you have a wide enough audience that wants to buy this thing. So I'll fast forward another couple of years. Now it's 2021 in the fall. If you remember in 2021, my book came out, The Business Playbook, which launched as a seven times Amazon bestseller. So now we're a few years into the business and we had really built this muscle of marketing and demand generation, both for the product and for our marketing content. We had built a mailing list of hundreds of thousands of people. We had built a reputation in the market. We had built community of consultants that were advocates for the brand. And only then when we've got this base, this audience and this demand, were we able to plan out a really successful book launch. And so leading up to the book launch, we did a few things. Yes, we prepared the offer. The offer was a 99 cent Kindle version of the book on Amazon. So we had our offer, but I also did weeks of podcast appearances and blog posts and newsletter articles that were said, this book is coming. We had a huge event, 5,000 people attended the event and we promoted the book and the content of the book at the event. And so all of that activity happened around the launch of the book, which created a success successful book launch with thousands of sales that we couldn't have done without that audience. And so the lesson here is don't be so hard on yourself. You know, if you're launching a book, a course, a brand, a business, whatever it is that you're launching, you can't just expect that with a few days of prep and a tiny audience that you're going to have this amazing inflow of sales. You really have to spend time getting to know your customer, incorporate them in the fact that you're producing this product, this brand, get their feedback, get a couple test customers. In my case, you know, test people reading the book and giving feedback and writing early reviews. And only then once you start to build that audience and build that base, can you really expect to have a more successful launch? So hopefully I'm telling this story in another few years and we've gotten even better at it. But that's been my experience so far. The best product can't sell without an audience to sell it to. And so before you think you're going to have this crazy launch, work on building that audience, build that platform, a couple awesome some books to look into. There is a book called Launch by Jeff Walker, which lays out the logistics of launches. So I highly recommend that book. And then there's another book around building a platform by Michael Hyatt, which was really helpful for me in understanding that I needed an audience to launch something to. So check out both of those books and let me know if you have questions or success stories as you're planning your next launch. <laughs>